Tonight's drama is an adaptation of the first story of Srila Lochanda Thakur's Sri Chaitanya Mangala. Our drama begins with Srila Narada Muni wandering here and there in transcendental anxiety. By the arrangement of providence, he comes upon an assembly of devotees. Radhika Rama, Radhika Rama. Oh, a wonderful assembly of Vaishnavas. My blessings to you all. You must know that the age of Kali is in full swing. Sin has replaced religion. Totally mad after sin's gratification, the people are unlimitedly unhappy. Devoid of Krishna consciousness, they do not know what to do and what not to do. I am in total anxiety for them and feel sorry for their plight. What can I do to deliver them? Totally forgetting Krishna, they are madly pursuing sense gratification. Their hearts are given over to waves of lust, anger, greed, envy, madness, illusion, and even suicide. Oh, but living the philosophy of I and mine, they have wasted their human form of life. They have forgotten their dear friend, Lord Krishna, and therefore, what can I do for them? If I am a servant of the Lord, then somehow or another, I must bring Sri Krishna down to this planet. Only he can reestablish the principles of religion. Oh, what can I do? Oh, I know. I shall go to the spiritual world, to Dwarka. I shall pray at the lotus feet of Lord Krishna for the benefit of all the living entities in Kali Yuga. I shall go right now. Thus the great sage Narada, seeing the miserable condition of the people of Kali Yuga, thought deeply about their deliverance, knowing that only the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Lord Krishna himself, could rectify the situation, Narada set out for Dwarka in the spiritual world. At that time, Lord Dwarkadish of Queen Rukmini, Lord Dwarkadish, Became, her, his queen became filled with ecstasy. Although the palace was already spotlessly clean, Rudini, in the ecstasy of receiving Lord Krishna in her palace, dressed nicely and personally cleansed everything in, his, in the palace. Musicians filled the air with sweet vibrations to greet the Lord. She lit ghee lamps and fragrant incense to provide an auspicious welcome for the Lord. The good-natured topmost queen was me, along with Mitravinda and Nagajatni, joyfully received Lord Krishna. With me, washed his lotus feet with scented water and offered arctic. Taking Krishna's feet as her only property, while looking lovingly at the Lord, Rukmini cried uncontrollably. Krishna. 
Shiva Prasad. Lord Shiva dances continuously, hoping to attain your lotus feet. Prabhu, you know everything, everything there is to know. But how is it that you do not understand the heart one who loves your lotus feet? You who understand the intensity of the love I feel, if you cultivate Radhava, the mood of Srimati Radharani's selfless love within your heart. Oh, Devi, what are you saying? What is it that is unknown to me? Never before have I heard that there is something which I do not understand. Hmm. Though I cannot perceive the meaning of your words, still my mind has become blissful simply by hearing them. Oh, Devi, I beg you, please tell me. My dear Lord, you are the best jewel of all transcendental qualities. Within your heart, you cannot know why I'm crying, though everything else is known to you. My heart weeps, because soon you will leave my palace and go away. The pure devotee who lovingly clasp your lotus feet are worshipped by the whole world, and the world becomes auspicious by serving the lotus feet of such pure devotees. I, I am going to tell you something from the bottom of my heart. Whoever has intense attachment to serving your lotus feet will definitely taste the highest transcendental ecstasy. You, however, are the Supreme Lord. So how can you understand this ecstasy? Besides me, only Srimati Radharani knows how to relish the mellows and taste the highest transcendental pleasure. All the de um, although devotees discuss these topics throughout the day and night, they are always amazed by the unique quality of Radharani's pure love. Now, I am ecstatic to have your lotus feet in my presence. Fearing your inevitable separation, I cannot help but cry. The taste of serving your lotus feet overpowers my attraction to you. You are the only shelter of the pure devotee. Please, please give me this benediction. May I always be a bumblebee forever attached to your lotus feet. Oh, my beloved. I have never heard such a wonderful and amazing description. Oh, until today, no one has suggested to me that I should personally taste the love that my pure devotees have for me. Oh, 
all alive? Welcome. But please tell us, why do you look so unhappy and disturbed? It devastates me to see you in such a condition. Oh, my dear Lord, you are the supreme personality of Godhead. You are the super soul of every living entity. Chanting your glories are my nectarian foodstuff. And in transcendental ecstasy, I go around the universe chanting your glories. But when I cannot hear your glories being chanted, when I see the fallen conditioned souls completely absorbed in sense gratification and sinful acts, I become greatly unhappy. To my great unhappiness, I cannot find any way for them to be delivered. Oh my Lord, now I have explained something of the sorrows within my heart. By saying it to you and by your mercy, I feel somewhat relieved. Oh, Nard, listen. I have just heard a most wonderful description from Rukmini. Because of this, I want to make a promise to you. In this coming age of Kali, I will manifest a form that is filled with humility. I shall become my own devotee, only to experience and taste the love that my devotees have for me. Not only will I experience the bliss of Prem Bhakti, but I will give it to everyone in the world by performing Sri Harinam Sankirtan. <laughs> and beautiful. The incomparable beauty of my form will defeat the beauty of Mount Sumeru itself. throughout the universe and tell all the residents of Brahmaloka and Shivaloka that very soon I will incarnate in Kali Yuga, taking the form of Sri Gauranga Mahaprabhu. In this form, which is mercy personified, I will establish the Yuga Dharma of Sankirtan Yajna. Narada's miseries and anxieties disappeared on hearing these divine words from the beautiful mouth of Krishna. Having his heart's desire fulfilled by the Lord, Narada playing his dina and singing Krishna's names left Dwarka. Oh, what unparalleled beauty I have just seen in the beautiful golden form of Sri Gauranga. His transcendental body appears just like molded gold. I saw his beautiful eyes, which were like the rising sun. Oh, how wonderful he looked as an ocean of compassion. I also saw his beautiful smile on his lotus face. Oh, my life, my eyes, everything had become perfected by seeing this wonderful form of the Lord. Oh, my heart cannot forget him. Oh, when will Lord Garanga appear again on the path of my eyes? While meditating in this way, the sage arrived in Naimisharanya 
for he led with the great devoted Uddha. Seeing Narada Muni, Uddha immediately stood up, offered Dandavat to the great sage, then bathed his feet. Most auspicious day. I feel very fortunate. For today, you have arrived in Narmasharanya at an auspicious moment. I feel now as if my life has become successful. Narad, there is something which has pained me for a long time, which I feel I must tell you. Previously, the great sage Vyasadeva resided here in Naimasharanya, compiling the Vedas. Still, after completing the Vedas, he was not satisfied. Then, by your confidential instructions, he wrote the Srimad Bhagavatam to deliver the people in general. Narad, you are realized in the absolute truth and the science of Krishna consciousness. Because you know the mind of Lord Krishna, you know the future. Please tell me. In Kali Yuga, the people are completely blinded by addiction to sinful activities. In the previous ages, Satya, Treta, and Dwarpa, people had some religious principles. But in the age of Kali, they know nothing but impiety. Tell me, how can the people of the age of Kali be delivered? O oh, Uddhava, my blessings are unto you. You are a pure devotee of Lord Krishna, and therefore your question fills me with great joy. Not long ago, I felt exactly like you. But by the mercy of Lord Krishna, I now understand the unique position of Kali Yuga. Quite the contrary. The people of Kali Yuga are most fortunate. In previous ages, it was very difficult to follow the Yuga Dharma of that age. But in Kali Yuga, self-realization has become very, very easy. Simply by chanting, dancing in ecstasy the holy names of Lord Krishna, the living entities of Kali Yuga can be freed from the repetition of birth and death. Oh, Uda, I just went to Dwarka, and Krishna told me, Oh, Nard, Rukmini has just explained to me the glories of pure love. Just hearing her description, I was in transcendental ecstasy. Therefore, I declared that in the age of Kali, I shall appear in the form of a Brahmin and I shall taste the love of my beloved. And I also will distribute that love to all the jivas in Kali Yuga. Telling me this information, I became very happy, and he ordered me to explain the glories of Lord Gauranga's future appearance everywhere, and therefore I transverse this universe. Narad! I feel completely rejuvenated by your exciting news. The only time I felt like this is when I received the remnants, Mahaprasadam of Lord Narayan. Then, as now, my body was thrilled with ecstasy. Go now and receive the remnants of Lord Narayan. Beg them from the goddess Lakshmi. Mahaprasadam from Lord Narayan? Yes, I shall go immediately. <laughs> While playing the Vina and continually singing the glories of Goranga, Narada Muni traveled around the world informing the demigods about Lord Chaitanya's appearance. Narada's heart was so full of ecstatic love that sometimes he couldn't move. Nevertheless, within the twinkling of an eye, Narada Muni came to Lord Shiva's abode on Mount Kailash. Narada felt excited about his upcoming meeting with Mahesh. He was eager to tell him all about his recent experiences with Lord Krishna. Radhika Raman, Radhika Raman, Radhika Raman, Radhika Raman. Oh, 
How are you doing? <laughs> my dear goddess Katiani, and my dear Mahesh, all glories to your lotus feet. You are both the mother and father of this entire universe. Therefore, you desire the welfare of all living entities. I have a story to tell you, and if you listen to it, then certainly I can get your mercy. Previously, I was very disturbed because I could not taste Lord Narayan's Mahaprasad. With this in mind, I decided, how can I please the Lord of Vaikuntha and get the remnants of his Mahaprasad? So I went to Vaikuntha, and I served the goddess Lakshmi. After some time, she came and said, O oh, Nard, what do you want? I shall give you a benediction. I told her, O oh, Supreme Goddess of Fortune, I have only one desire in my heart. I have not tasted the Lord's Mahapashadam. Therefore, if you could give me this benediction of one drop, then my desires will be fulfilled. After some time, the Goddess of Fortune delivered a handful of Lord Narayan's Mahapashadam to me. And tasting it, I was overwhelmed in ecstasy, dancing and singing. I lost control. Even now, my spiritual effulgence has increased dramatically. <laughs> tasting this Mahapashadam, I immediately left the Vaikuntha planets, and I have come here to Kailas just to see you. Oh, Narda, after receiving the Lord's Maha Prasad remnants, you ate it all for yourself <laughs> without giving me any? Why didn't you bring me even a little of this wealth? Oh, Mahesh, my dear brother, I have not forgotten you. Yes, I have brought you one morsel of Maha Prasad. Lord Jesus, loud and euphoric roaring of the Lord's holy name, bounced off the, the dome like covering of the universe, reverberating throughout in ten directions. Seeing the whole universe shaking in ecstasy and unable to tolerate the weight of Lord Jesus' actions, Mother Bhumi, Metna, dragged to Mount Kailash. With holding hands, Mother Bhumi appealed to Goddess Poverty. This is the most bliss I've ever tasted. Why did you stop it? Oh, my lord, the weight of your dancing was causing the earth to fall to the bottom of the universe. <laughs> because you were threatening to destroy it, I spoke harshly to you. Please forgive my offense. Oh, my lord, every day you are dancing with the ecstasy of Krishna praying. Why today has it caused the earth to fall down to the lower planetary system? O oh, Devi, today the great sage Narda 
has given me some of Lord Narayan's Mahaprasad remnants. In all the three worlds, it is very difficult to obtain the Lord's remnants, which is mixed with the nectar of Krishna's lips. Today, my life is a success. This is my real wealth, and this is the source of my ecstasy. I thought you were always kind to me and merciful to me, but today your false love is revealed. After receiving that Maha Prashad, which is so rarely attained, you took all of it and left nothing for me. <laughs> Oh, Bhavani, you have no right to receive this transcendental wealth. I also have devotion for Lord Vishnu. If the Lord would be merciful to me, I would give his Mahaprasha to everyone. <laughs> Without you, the material creation could not exist. Please be assured, I will keep your promise. I will distribute my Mahaprasad to everyone in the entire universe. In the age of Kali, I will manifest my golden form of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And I would distribute the congregational chanting of my holy name. And in this way, I will deliver all the people in Kali Yuga. Oh my dear devotion, in this age of Kali, those who are intelligent will worship the Supreme Personality of Godhead by congregational chanting, dancing and chanting His holy names in great ecstasy. Everyone will be delivered. Chant! Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare! Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came in this world the causes of Krishna coming in the form of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. In the same time he told that, oh, Kalju, Kalju, this Kalju is special Kaliju. Dhanya Kali, in this Kaliju, Kalki will not come by chanting and remembering, oh, no need of Kalki. We see that as the days are passing, oh, 
everywhere in this world of preaching and going on and all are chanting and remembering Krishna. And also he told how oh, Jagannath gets his remnants to whole world. Even it is basi. Shell. Even rotten. Even taken by dogs. Oh, it is remnant of Krishna. Very, very powerful. Even Shankar began to dance. And I appreciate Lakshmi. Maheshi. Bhavani. That he told that, oh, if remnant will come to me, I will distribute to whole world. <laughs> And then Krishna himself come and told that I will in Kaljuk distribute my this Mahaprasadam. Mm -hmm. So he has told everything in this why Chaitanya Mahapuru came, the glory of Mahaprasadam and the glory of Maha Harina he has told. And all the these devotees have played their role very, very well. I don't remember their names. Uh, oh, especially the family of Mahabharata. Uh, and also one boy, uh, Yo, Rasik Mohan, he, he became like, just like Chaitanya <laughs> And also, oh, Krishna and Radhika oh, played very, very beautiful role. <laughs> and Rukmini and also eh? Uddhav. But Uddhav has done some mistake. <laughs> he has told, oh Narad, why Narad? Narad ji are oh Prabhu. Narada cannot be so ignorant, uh, Uddha, Uddha he cannot. But I see in Western countries they don't, they will tell, oh, Narayan Maharaj, Bhakti Vinod Thakur, not Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur. They call their father's name like direct, not... Or they will tell their father like, oh, so you should give respect to all. I am telling for all, give respect to all. Proper respect to Vaishnav. Not, oh, Narad, who Narad? Your son? Who? Your grandson? <laughs> Never. So we should try to be there. So my blessing to all those who part, took part, and they have Krishna praying, and thus they, their life should be successful. Gaur Pramana.